Thor News presents Which direction is the sun traveling? I think a lot of people think of the sun as a stationary object, but it is not. It is like a super giant arrow that has been fired through space. In relation to the Big Bang, everything is in the exploded shrapnel state. Everything in the universe is in constant motion. Our sun is in constant motion around the Milky Way, orbiting what used to be known as the central bulge. Insert your own naughty joke here. But like, when I click over to universe today, they're like, what an interesting question. And they go, blah, 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 blah. Yes, the sun and the entire solar system orbits around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The average velocity of the solar system is 828,000 kilometers per hour. And it takes the galaxy, it takes us about 230 million years to make one complete orbit. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. It is believed that it can consists of a central bulge, four major arms, and several shorter arm segments. The sun and the rest of our solar system is located near the Orion arm between two major arms, Perseus and Sagittarius. Hey, I'm a Sag. Awesome. The diameter of the Milky Way is guessed to be about 100,000 light years, and the sun is located about 28,000 light years from the galactic center. It has been suggested fairly recently that ours is actually a barred spiral galaxy. That means that instead of a bulge of gas and stars at the center, there's probably a bar of stars crossing the central bulge. Whoa, a bar of stars. That reminds me of that one painting by the guy I cannot remember his name. With James Dean and other people. Marilyn Monroe, other people. And so they, they the universe today tells us to uh, kick on over to a NASA website. Star child. Does the sun move around the Milky Way? Yes. I was actually asking what direction the sun travels, people. I know that it moves. I just want to know what direction it was moving. This is actually, this episode is a precursor to uh, the next Common Ison episode. So I'd like you guys to learn this with me as I ask more questions later. A barred spiral galaxy. That, that doesn't sound as cool as a bar of stars. The sun is moving at 486,000 miles per hour. The last time we were in this position, 226 million years ago, dinosaurs ruled. Well, that's a comforting thought. Wonder where they were when they stopped ruling. People would like to know. No, but what I'm asking again is, which direction is the sun traveling? And well, hey, there's no direction in space. No up, down, east, west, north, south, really. It's all in relation to something. So the sun is headed to Vega, the Vega star system. Basically headed to Vega and in between Sirius and Vega. It's like in the middle, kind of. I think we're all going in the same direction. I'm going to look into that. We've narrowed it down. Sun is headed to the Vegas star. Okay, great. This will turn out to be very important in the next Comet Ison episode. So we have figured out the sun moves. moves fast. It's headed to Vega. Sirius is trailing us. It's good shit to know, people. Vega is the brightest star in the constellation Lyra. And it's the fifth brightest star in the night sky. It's 25 light years away from Earth. Wikipedia calls Vega arguably the next most important star in the sky after the sun. Here's a weird deal. Vega is only one-tenth of the age of the sun, but it's bigger? Thought they went in reverse. It had based on excess emissions of infrared radiation, Vega appears to have a circumstellar disk of dust. Vega lies in the summer triangle in the constellation of Lyra with Altair and Deneb. This formation is the approximate shape of a right triangle. Early on they discovered that Vega had an excess infrared flux beyond what would be expected from the star alone. Following the discovery of an infrared excess around Vega, other stars have been found that display a similar anomaly attributable to dust emissions. Interesting. Very interesting. Lots of strange dust emissions. The disk of dust is produced as radiation pressure from Vega pushes debris from collisions of larger objects outward. However, continuous production of the amount of dust observed over the course of Vega's lifetime would require an enormous starting mass, estimated as hundreds of the times of the mass of Jupiter. Interesting. All right, we figured out where the sun is going. I've got you boned up on the bulge. And as we get geared up for the next episode of Comet Ison, I leave you with a picture of Jessica Alba. For she is magnificento. So you got Sirius in the back and Vega in the front. We're riding shotgun. Wait, I should say funny nonsensical stuff here. I got nothing. Aliens pooped in my brain and that doesn't work. So all I can say is like poop poop, caca, pee pee. And that ain't funny. That ain't funny to nobody, man. You should click off right now because I'm not going to say anything except for like, is it true cats have freckles? Or dang, I got nothing. Stupid aliens. Why, why you guys got to be so crappy? Aliens. Aliens.
I hope one day we find a color we've never seen before. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, it would. What would you name that color? Okay. All right, then I'm out of here. Peace out. Check you later. No, seriously. I'm really gone this time. I'm on my way out the door. Here I go. Watch. God bless everybody. Have a great Thursday. Icing coming up.